Good evening everyone, this is Radhika Chopra. I introduce myself over here because this um, page of mine is a public page It's a, and I am not really very active here and I plan to become more active and interact with all of you who are following me here. So thank you very much for participating today as well as following this page. Uh, the reason I wanted to uh, do this video is because we've just completed the month of October, which really is a turning point uh, in every year. Uh, you know, the cycle kind of changes, the wheel turns in the month of October. So um, I think it was a good time uh, that we are now in November, uh, that we start looking at the way forward. So... Um, before I begin, I just want to, uh, you know, bring an important point across to you all that, you know, when we are looking at any predictive sciences, whether it's astrology or numerology, it's very, very important to understand that they are not essentially predictive sciences. They are sciences that give you a sense of the energy matrix that is presenting itself at that point. Now, we as individuals are moving through that energy uh, matrix and we are making personal choices and we have are sort of uh, adjusting our personal energies. Either some of us get more agitated, more upset, more depressed, and some of us actually make choices in another direction. Now, what we do individually starts impacting the collective consciousness. So in that sense, it is not... Uh, neither advisable um, and sometimes not even very accurate to predict exactly okay um, and that's a good thing because what we're trying to do here is kind of read the energy there is a, a sort of a theme or a language that begins somewhere there is a point that it begins and there is a cascading effect after that so we have point A that gets triggered and then it goes to D, E and F. So we try to just go through the thread of energy. Now, why is this information important? It's because we understand what's going on within us and we understand what's going on outside of us much better. So we can make unnecessary adjustments, pay heed to certain things and accept certain things. Um, another little thing is... Um, I'm always a person who's wanting to learn different things and seek and I, I quite a, kind of go very deep into dwelling into the intricacies. And I asked one of my gurus, uh, you know, my Jyotish guru, that I have noticed that you've not said anything about this COVID situation. And he said something very, very wonderful, which has stayed home with me. And he said to me, Radhika ji, it is not important for us to... Uh, start looking at the world events with such detail because we must all learn to live through crisis and I think that's the important part that's the learning we all have including me how to keep your balance your center in times of crisis so yeah so this year has been a year of crisis for many people uh, I completely understand that because a lot of people have either lost jobs or, or had to give up their dreams or some people have lost lives which is actually one of the the big things uh, that's happened and it's been unsettling you know and when we start complaining about the little problems that we have we have to start looking at the bigger picture but now let's move ahead so when we are looking at year 2021 I kind of felt that I need to roll back a little bit to the year 2019 because if you look at this COVID uh, pandemic uh, that has been the theme of 20, 2020 uh, or the, the, the predominant theme uh, started well into um, 2000, it started in 2019. Uh, there are many theories about when it started and where it started and how it started, but we're not going to get into that, that that it started in 2019 is something that we are sure of. Now, year 2019 was a difficult beginning. Now, the difficult beginning, and I'm talking here about globally, 
not talking about individually. So there is a beginning that happens, um, which is got a very creative potential. Now, when we look back, and if I was in 2019, I can read that anyway. I can read that as a good thing, and I can read that as a bad thing. And we, depending on our mindset, we tend to look at it in one way. But 2019 was definitely a beginning of um, something that would have the ability to spread, uh, to create and recreate itself. And lo and behold, it was one of the years where the virus was also where it started and it created and recreated itself. Now, um, that uh, particular year um, was overall difficult um, in terms of not the pandemic per se. It was only after October. As I said, October is the year, you know, is the time of the year when things begin to change and it gives us a glimpse into the next year. So the, uh, the virus actually surfaced in the month of November. So that was well into the energy of 2020. Now 2020, uh, I had done a video uh, long back for a channel called Pavai Live. Uh, it was really a, one of the short fun videos uh, giving a sort of a very um, a fluid idea about 2020. And I still remember that video and I said that it's going to be a very uh, you know, it's going to be a year where we will be asked to, uh, you know, become take responsibility and become mature. Uh, I remember that being one of the themes of that video. But now look at 2020. It's definitely been, it comes to a total of four as far as numerology is concerned. Now, I'm, there are two uh, schools of numerology. One which looks at the numbers and corresponds it to the planets and one that doesn't do that. Um, the latter is what I have more knowledge about. That's my mainstream numerology, but I do have information on the one that correlates. So it was a year considered to be that of Rahu. So Rahu is a, as, as a shadow planet is one that basically magnifies and disperses across um, and it's to do with foreign lands, but it's also something that creates, you know, there was a Rahu Ketu axis that is said to be the one that started the virus and, the, you know, one that spread the virus. So anyway, coming back to the number four, number four is a very restrictive number in many ways. It's very foundational, but it is also very restrictive. And I'm sure all of us have felt restricted in one way or the other. We've not led lives as we knew it so it kind of shuts you down four is like a box and your house is like a box so it kind of shut people down in these boxes but it's also a year that started building a foundation for some people you may have started something very new in this year uh, or you may have even laid the foundation or something that you're going to begin next year and for others the foundation shook so all in all, it kind of targeted your basic structure, your basic structure in terms of your health or what you believed, what is true health, because a lot of people believed health means that I am thin and uh, or this is my body weight and this is the size of my waist, but that's not what health is. So I think people uh, started to question the very foundation that they were on. What is, the, what is the meaning of your life? What are you basing your life on? And all of these things became a question mark uh, for the year 2020. Now, we are moving into the year 2021. Now, let's look back a little bit at the trend of what's happening after October. So, we are seeing that in certain countries, there's been an easing out. Uh, of life, uh, there has been probably easing out of cases. I'm not going to get into first wave, second wave. I'm not really interested in that conversation. That's all very technical and also very, it's ever changing as we all know. So 2021 uh, has brought on this change of, there's a lot of shift. I don't know about you all, um, whether all of you are feeling it or some of you are feeling it. It's bringing about a restlessness, whether it's a restlessness 
in your personal lives or even globally there's a lot of moving and shaking that's going on this year and september uh, would have brought about you know a pinnacle of a lot of stress for people globally and october would have started to you know make it um make it audible make it seeable and everybody starts looking at you know everything starts coming out into the open and everything is all over the place and that's the theme for uh, 2021 uh, it's a year of very very big changes now i know every year is a year of change because every year the energy changes but here i'm not talking about you know changes i'm talking about it will feel like a constant upheaval like things are not stabilizing there's upheaval uh, there could be freedom movements a uh, lot of protests a lot of chaoses a lot of chaos a lot of disturbances because it's a very um, restless and it's a very reckless energy so you will see people becoming even more reckless now when you look at numerology and correspond it to a planetary, a planetary uh, correlation uh, some will say that this year 2021 is to do with mercury and of course in conjunction with another planet but let's take it as mercury then mercury is a planet that goes retrograde in motion a lot we keep hearing about oh mercury is retrograde okay so it is extremely fluctuating and that's the theme even numerologically that this is a year that will be constantly fluctuating and um there will be people who will be creating balance in this world they will be trying to do that do that and there will be people who will be feeding chaos all the time so um it's very inconsistent this year uh, 2021 a lot of things will be even revealed a lot of things that have been hidden um or kept safely will come out uh, so it's a year that all these revelations are going to come out uh, there's going to be a lot of information for us to process uh, there will be sometimes expansion of territories by some nations because there is this is the energy of expansion uh, there could be even the beginning of falls of some nations and we must be very very careful about our communication on our end because um, communication is um, what we say on social media becomes important um, I'm sure all of you have watched uh, this, um, you know, movie called, um, what is it called? Hmm, it's slipping my mind. Uh, it's about social media and what really goes on. I think it's called Social D Dilemma. I'm not too sure. So it's on Netflix. It's a brilliant watch. But really from the, you know, keeping the movie and the entertainment of the movie or the shock factor of the movie or the documentary actually aside, we really have to be careful. We have to be careful about too much of polarization in our communication. Uh, I'm myself contemplating really bringing down my social interaction uh, to uh, you know a great extent on social media. Um, please feel free to um, you know delete, unfollow, leave things that just do not resonate or agitate you. Please do that because. Uh, and that's a very very uh, important uh, factor in 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 keeping your sanity for next year so um, i think also next year we'll be looking social dilemma yes uh, it is a year we'll be looking at our health in a very different way it's because i think this year has made us question and also sit up and take a look at it so um, health and healing is something that is going to come to the forefront especially to do with physical healing uh, and uh, I think the repercussions of what 2020 has done to people uh, even psychologically is going to be something that will people will need to deal with and it will really surface in 2021 um, without wanting to make this video too long um, I just want to uh, go over uh, overview of the energy reading from this month November up into September next year okay so um, so um, let's look at November November has an energy of a lot of deceit 
a lot of manipulation and a lot of reversals in this world okay so there seems to be an underlying warlike situation or conflict rather so november we will see highlights of conflicts um, in in this in this month in november and as i said deceit plays a very important part here it will be very uh, you know obvious um, there will be um, a lot of uh, background activity which is about rearranging certain forces will rearrange itself uh, that is going to create which are really the problem makers and creators in this world so in that way november is a month which is going to be a little difficult uh, globally okay um, then we move on to december december shows a turn of events in some ways or rather it shows us forward action but it also shows um, counter um, sort of counter measures to to outdo what will happen in november so uh, the the december month is showing perhaps even uh, harsh or even violent or bordering on violent or strong actions let me call it very strong actions are going to be taking place a lot of people will also actually move forward set a plan for the next year that's what usually happens in december but you know in december it will there was there's a marked shift in energy uh, is how i am seeing it and i feel that you know we will have break broken away to some extent from the energies of 2020 okay and uh, there is going to be uh, a lot of aggressive movement forward in this world uh, january uh, seems to be a month which is going to be bringing in a sense of hope for people uh, you know people will want to they will think you know we all are thinking that as of this virus said that it's going to come from 2020 and stay till 31st december 2020 uh, i'm not talking about the virus per se here but just a sense of the energy is that we're going to be embarking on something new in um, in the month of uh, January uh, there are going to be some silly decisions there are going to be some falls uh, it could be um, uh, you know small things are going to actually uh, people are going to make you know um, silly so choices and decisions and there's going to be certain pitfalls that they will encounter but all in all a year a month of January that brings in a sense of hope for people um, and a sense of peace so it's going to be completely different from the energies of november when we come to the month of february february will again it's it's really showing as greater hope uh, especially to do with people will try and look at um, you know the financial aspect um, you will see global markets and things like that probably uh, probably do better the economy working towards stabilizing itself maybe new investments new things so the focus really here is on the material recovery in the month of february right um, then we come to march march is a very interesting month because it's kind of showing as uh, the way i'm looking at it the way i'm reading march is that it's showing um, as a month of a lot of secrets uh, a lot of things that are going to come out there is going to be a lot of conspiracy will start surfacing again uh, there is going to be per perhaps uh, you know conflicts verbal conflicts perhaps um, and there is going to be mediations that are required this is probably going to happen between nations there may be certain reversals certain setbacks uh, a lot of uh, conspiracy a lot of manipulation uh, happening behind the scenes okay then we come to the month of april april is actually a score setting month it's it's what is going to you know when the karma is going to come to fruition in a way so there is going to be certain things that have been laid down uh, some uh, people some nations some governments i don't know going to take a very strong stance uh, about the way they want to handle things and the way to go forward so um, certain countries need to be very very careful in the month of march because uh, it it i'm getting a sense of even uh, activities uh, 
you know, which could be, you know, warlike or conflict or terrorist-like activities. So again, there is going to be um, a lot of um, polarization and then in April it will start becoming and, you know, people will be, uh, you know, certain governments will really, really lay down and there's going to be a lot of justice that is going to be meted with that month, okay. Now we come to the month of May. I, that's a beautiful energy coming up in the month of May. Perhaps we will start looking at life completely differently from what we have been doing. That's my hope. That's I'm trying to be as objective as possible. But the month of May is showing coming together of people. Uh, and I think certain social interactions that we have now uh, left behind for so long probably will start resuming in the month of May, a sense of normalcy, a sense of hope will begin in 2021 May. Uh, June again, uh, June again is a month of, uh, uh, you know, again, related to the markets, uh, related to business, related to uh, mediation. Uh, somewhere Europe is showing as an important uh, country, uh, set of countries there, that continent becomes an important continent for a lot of activities, perhaps some recovery, some new initiatives, some changes there. So that is June. Uh, July. July is a bit of a fall. Um, um, it's also the seventh month, so I can understand that. It's also a, a month where there's going to be certain betrayals, certain, certain upsets in this world. Um, could be um, terrorist activities as well and certain loss of life from there. Um, I'm hoping not, but that's how it's coming up. Um, there is going to be offense and defense. Uh, that's probably the theme more than anything else. Uh, that is August. Now we come to the month of August. Month of August is bringing in again um, hope. Um, hmm. I'm sensing an energy more about uh, the UK here and uh, these countries. Again, somehow Europe is playing an important part next year in two months. Um, it's also uh, a woman who will uh, play an important role and uh, in, in could be an important role, something to do with the, uh, to do with the kingdoms, maybe of UK. Um, we don't know how that's going to pan out. I, I mean, I'm just picking up the energy here. It's so it's a it's a year where there is going to be uh, that month. August is going to be a month of new beginnings again, new changes, perhaps good financially for the world, good for the economy. And it goes well into September where there are going to be aggressive measures, movement forward, but again, military action. So all in all, we are going through periods of great conflict between uh, countries. Everything is very volatile. We are still going to go through that period even in the month or uh, in the year of 2021. So that was my reading till September. Um, I even had a look, if you all are interested, I had a look at specific countries. I have a few countries, but I'm just going to pick out one or two. So, of course, India. I'm going to pick out India for next year. Uh, it's going to show, it's actually showing, a, you know, an individual stance of its own. It's, it's going to have a little, uh, you know, um, difficulty sometimes, but it's... India is going to really assert itself next year in one way or the other and that's the energies that are coming up in India. Uh, there could be certain con conflicts and um, again polarization but what else is nothing new about that but so that is uh, that is the chart of India. Uh, we are embarking on a new chapter from next year onwards as a nation so please be mindful of that and we are that's the direction that we are going to be we are going to be having a fallout of that for the next eight nine years. Uh, we have um, I have USA. Uh, USA is having a difficult year according to numerology next year. There is going to be a lot of unsettlement uh, and there is going to be a lot of settling of scores with one particular nation. I'm not going to name it. I just do not want to um, go into that. But either there will be a lot of conspiracy with them or there will be a confrontation with that nation. 
So all in all, but America is set for a uh, set for a year of some difficulty, a lot of conspiracies, a lot of revelations, uh, a lot of systems of a lot of shocking events uh, and and issues coming up there. So that's USA. So I hope you all um, got something out of this and thank you so much for joining those who did. Um, I will be posting this on the IGTV so you can have a look at it even later. So thank you very much and uh, just a little note that I'm also offering for the whole month of November uh, readings for people which is based on two three different methods. I bring it together and I give a 40 minute reading to people. It's an offer uh, for 1000 Indian rupees. Uh, so that's what I'm offering for the month of November. So if you'd like something more personal for yourself, do get in touch. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.